Breaking news overnight from North Korea, a report that the country has tested a missile that could be fired from submarines, making it a far greater threat to the United States. South Korea's military says it detected the launch, and this is a developing story. Our Remy Innocencio is in Hong Kong covering it for us. Remy, this is a concerning one. Good morning. Absolutely, and good morning. Uh, experts are saying this is arguably North Korea's most advanced show of military capability ever since President Biden took office. And South Korea's military has now been saying that that was launched, at least one missile was launched off the coast of Sinpo. That's a city on the east coast of North Korea and a hub for its submarine production program. And this all comes after the U.S. met with South Korean officials in Washington where they reaffirmed their intentions to actually restart diplomacy with North Korea and for its denuclearization. Now, North Korea had revealed two new submarine-launched ballistic missiles, otherwise known as SLBMs, during military parades this year as well as last year. But this one, it appears to be the first time the country has tested an SLBM ever since 2019. It's also the latest in a string of recent North Korean weapons tests, including what the country claimed was a developmental hypersonic weapon. But North Korea isn't the only country here in Asia accused of testing advanced weaponry right now. A Financial Times report claims China has successfully launched its own hypersonic missile just this past summer. On Monday, Beijing responded to that report, saying it was not a missile, but a reusable space vehicle used in a routine test to help lower the cost of space travel. Now, it's worth it to note that the U.S. and Russia are also developing their own hypersonic missile technology. But if that financial report is true, then it means, it implies that China is now taking the lead in the development of hypersonic missile technology in this global race. Gail? Some troubling signs there. Thank you very much, Ramey.